lot of times I see like people they have a hard time to open the to close there, right? Um, you gotta close the collars right here, okay? And grab one side right, of your sleeve, okay? So when you grab the collar, you cannot let your opponent go with the hand over your arm and grab your own collar here. Okay, why? Because then he can lock your elbow and it's easy for him to attack the armbar on this side right now. You see? Because my elbow is inside. So when you, are, when you are inside the close guard, your elbow can never pass the line of his legs. So if your elbow is like this, he, it's easy for him to climb your shoulder. Just jump with your leg over my shoulder. Like this. Once he does that, it's easy for him to go for the armor, okay? So if I keep my elbow outside, try to go over right now, so now he can't. So every time your opponent put the elbow inside here, okay? Like, or drag your arm inside, like this, you need to put your knee be, uh, outside of his, his hips and put your elbow out, okay? Why I put my knee here? So he don't escape the hips, okay? So if I keep my leg here and he cross my arm, like this, I cannot just go inside like that, okay? I need to use my knee out and put my elbow out here. Okay, that's one thing we need to know when you are inside a close guard, okay? And a lot of people struggle with that. So, knowing that right now, I'm gonna control his collar, and when he tried to grab over my collar, I'm gonna keep my hand on the same side that he's trying to attack my arm, okay? If I'm grabbing this side here, I gotta put my hand on this side, if I'm grabbing the right side, I put my hand on the right side. So I keep my collars like far from his head. He can go with the hand under my collar here. That's not a problem. Because now he cannot lock my elbow. Right? Because the hand is under. Okay? So I like to go on this side here. I control his sleeve. Okay? Now I have only one arm to attack him. Okay? Which is this one here. Try to grab my collar. Okay? Escape your hips, Ricky. If you start skipping the hips, make sure his hips is between your thighs. So now I'm gonna stand up, okay? I can stand up this leg first, okay, I can. But if I do that, he can underhook my leg, okay? So I prefer, if I stand up one leg first, I go on this side first, because I'm controlling his sleeve, okay? Right here. And I put my weight, okay, on my hands, all right? Just like that. If I keep my weight on my legs, it's gonna be hard for me to stand up. So I go step one, push, step two. So I stand up, okay? Now when I stand up, I wanna take him off the mat, like this. Oh, professor, but sometimes I'm fighting someone heavier than me. Then you need to use a different uh, way to open the guard. Well, usually when you fight, you fight in like your weight division or sometimes uh, most of the time, people are kind of like this, almost the same weight, okay? If you can take your opponent off the mat, it will be better for you to open his guard, okay? So we're going to step one, step two, and bring him off the mat, okay? Sometimes people, they lock the knee like this, right? And a lot of people, they say, oh, do this because now you're more comfortable, but also your opponent is comfortable as well. Okay, so you help him right here. So when I keep my knees apart, now look, he's uncomfortable, right? He's working more, he's like, I like to keep like this. I don't like to do this. Close the guard. I don't like to do this here, okay? If I do this, I'm helping, okay? So I need to make him feel the pressure on his feet. So I, I open my leg like this. Now, I'm gonna go with my hand this hand right here, controlling his knee, and push to open the guard, okay? As I open his guard, I'm gonna start working to pass his guard, okay? Sometimes my opponent will grab the belly, but for sure he's gonna grab my ankle here, like this. I'm gonna control the same side on the collar, okay? This side here, he cannot do anything because it's, I'm controlling his, his sleep. Okay, right here. So now look, this hand, I'm gonna let go and control his pants, open my knee out. Stretch my leg and turn my toes outside. What I wanna do right now is to sit my opponent. 
If I do like little steps, loosen him up. Okay, like this. He can do like the single leg here, right? You change the grip like this, or you can keep the grip as the same way like you start, okay? In both ways, we're gonna use the knee cut right here, okay? What are you gonna do? I'm gonna step the leg over, this leg right here, okay? So I step out, keep his leg between my legs. Now look, my foot, my left foot goes on this side here. So I gotta start going for the knee cut. So don't try to go for the knee cut with your foot on that side, because you're gonna torque your knee, okay? Try to scoop your foot to the other side of his hip, and then you jump to the knee cut, okay? And you're already blocking his, his knee shield here. So try to bring your elbow close to your thigh here so he doesn't have the knee shield, okay? So if I don't bring my elbow close to my thigh here, just like this, I'm gonna be on this position. He's gonna have the knee shield, and this can cause me problems uh, to pass his guard, okay? I can pass the bottom leg, but the top leg will be always here. Especially against uh, flexible guys, they're gonna invert it, and they're gonna roll, and I'll be inside their guard, okay? So once you're here, you see him up, shank, look, block. Now look, I let go his pants, and I'm gonna underhook this arm here. I don't like to grab like this, okay? Because some guys have long arms, and I feel like I'm holding his arm here. I need to pull too much, okay? I like to always go under his triceps here, and I grab here. So now I control his entire arm. It doesn't matter like the size uh, of his arm, okay? Now there's a tricky part on the knee cut, okay? So when I'm here, I need to put my kneecap on the floor and I will sweep his leg out like this instead of doing this, okay? A lot of people, they do this. So when you do this, your hips is too far from his hips. So when Ricky escape the hips, he's gonna find a space to recover the guard. Okay. So I'm gonna put my knee on the floor, I scoop down like this, and now my hips is in connection with his hips. When Ricky starts escaping the hips, I, my hips will be gluing like near his hips, always. I'll maintain this side of my hips always on his hips, okay? So that way, he cannot find a space to recover to the half guard. I'm pushing this arm the whole time. My elbow goes in the other side, and I get the underhook here, okay? I like to get both underhooks here. Double underhooks. Now the transition to side control. I'm gonna put my shoulder over his shoulder, and then I start establishing the side control, being chest on chest, tiptoes on the mat, heavy, okay? One more time. We're on the closed guard. We gotta do like a sequence. We're gonna open the guard, which is easy, okay? And then as soon as you open, you see him up, step over, go for the knee cut. Step one, step two, okay? Try to grab my collar, escape your hips, put my knee here, okay? Stand up. I can stand up like this too. If I want. Okay, you can go with both legs together or one and two. Okay, it's an option too. Okay. If I want to go both legs together, go one, two. Standing him up. Okay. Keep his hips between your legs. Don't close. Don't make a chair for him. No chair for him. Push the knee. Grab the collar. Open the knee at the same time grabbing the, the, the pants. Okay, little step out, step over, change the side of your foot. Go for the knee cut, underhook, the triceps, knee on the floor, scoop your leg down, keep your hips near his hips. Keep your hips, stack them up now. Now, chest on chest, 
the other side control if you like. You can go with this hand with the thumb inside or four fingers inside. Okay, it's your choice. I like this a lot. Try to fight, come here. Okay, stay strong. Have your shoulder over your shoulder. If Enrique doesn't grab my leg, it's easier for me to go for the knee cut, right? <clears throat> but at the same thing, here, I need to, don't try to go for the knee cut if you don't sit him up, okay? Don't try to go here, okay? because then he's gonna pummel in the leg, right? So I need his foot on the floor. Then it's harder for him to go for the last, okay? A lot of times, people, they try to get a knee cut here, okay? So you, here. You see me a little bit, okay? Put him up. Uh, another thing that, ah, uh, when I see him, if he goes for the, for the single leg, sometimes I got here. You know, you grab both collars, but you can grab one collar too if you feel that your hand's small or you don't feel comfortable grabbing like that, you can go here. As long as you have a nice pull to bring him up, okay? Like this, okay? Open, shake, so I'm here. Let's say, go to La Hiva. Open my leg, pull him. Look, my elbow goes to my rib. My forearm rests on my thigh. Try to go back with your back on the floor. Keep pulling here. I'm not doing this, okay? I'm resting here. Yeah, my weight is on my elbow here, on my thigh. So if your Ricky goes for a single leg, goes for a single, like this, okay? Sometimes it does that. Now I'm gonna scoop my hand here, here. And then I start going for your knee cut, okay? I can grab here at first, okay? But I truly, I really like to go here, like this, okay? But if you feel during the fight this is better, it's okay. As long as you keep a nice underhook. Scoop and then pass. Try to escape, Rick. Follow him, follow him. Keep your hips, always follow him here. Don't let him escape and let your hips disconnect. That's what he recovered, okay? Always keep following. You guys understand? Uh, does it matter if he's like grabbing the pants and Bellhiva, like if he's like, like grabbing the pants instead of just cutting the ankle? Yes, it matters. Because okay. sometimes the grip on the pants, it's stronger here. The only thing is, it's gonna, he's going to have more time to control, but you're going to be in a better position than him. So I stretch, step over. I change my foot the same way here. He's just going to have a little bit more uh, time, but look, he's gonna feel uncomfortable. He needs to let go. He's gonna succeed on the grip when I don't change my foot to this side. So if I try to knee cut here with my foot there, sometimes my knee will torque, okay? But when I change my foot here, he's gonna feel like uncomfortable. He needs to let go. And I try to open his knees apart. So I'm using my shin and my shoulder here, my forearm here, to like spread his legs, okay? And then pass his guard. Do you guys understand? Yes. Um, what happens if he does the, the throw, throw under the ankle to grab? I know when Owen Ricky sometimes goes under and Yeah. Is that the same thing or something different? No, it's different. Like, if I'm, yeah. So when he grabs here, it's hard for me to go for the knee cut that way, okay? I can sit him up here, okay? Um, but it's gonna be hard for me to pass this way. What I like to do on this position, I put him back on the floor and I go here. And I start passing to this side, like this. Same side is grabbed, finish the knees in. You know, I, I like to break, break his grip like that, okay? Again, so if I feel he goes like this here, I go here and I grab his pants. He can grab his pants too, right here. But just the fact you start put, pinching 
uh, stacking and passing his leg this way, he's gonna start feeling comfortable. But what I like to do with this leg is to put my shin over his, his uh, biceps and then keep like the pressure here. And notice that I keep controlling this leg so he cannot come with the leg over me. If I let go, he's gonna start doing this. So I keep this grip here until I establish the position. And then I can let go. Okay? Yes, so, okay. so how do you deal with the reverse muscle sweep when you're standing in close guard? Oh, when he is like under my yeah, leg? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. That's why I take him off the mat. Okay. You know? So when I, when I come up here, and actually that's why I, as soon as I stand up, I bring him, you know? I go one and then uh, do this. Because if you try to go for the muscle right now, look, he's here. And now I have time to go for the muscle. Really quick, I let go and push his leg, you know? It's different when I stand up here and stay like this. Then I need to know I need to deal with this, you know? So, and to deal with this, I need to close my knee. If I stand up here and he underhook, underhook me here, I cannot let him open my knee that way because that's when he's sweeping, right? Go back, let me stand up. Close the guard. So try to sweep me, Rick. I go here, look, I pinch my knee this way. And always my knee is over his hips. Never let his hips go over leg because you can break your knee. That's what happened with Bushesha when he, when he hurt his knee. So you gotta be here. And then I put my elbow inside. Now I go here. If I feel he's really strong, I go inside his leg. You know, I go inside. Because there's no dangers of triangle when his back is on the floor and I'm standing, you know? And then I start working to pass. Same thing. If he grabs here, I go for the Toyota this way. If you grab it like that, step out, change the leg, go for a sharp knee cut. Okay? All right, let's just work on this today. Back and forth, okay? Each person will do by time. I did have a question. <clears throat> when he comes up for the single leg and you're reaching for the underhook, you don't need a deep underhook, do you? No, we just, when you, when I see you, when I see you up here, yeah. Like this? No, I just need your, I just need my, uh, this, yeah, my thumb, this part of my hand, like my wrist, under your armpit, like this. I don't need to go like here, you know, a lot of people think, no, just here, and then, you know, just like that, because now I can take your hand, your hand out, okay? And then if you want to go deeper later, like when you have the back on the floor, you switch this side, it's your, it's your choice. Yeah. It's just a choice. The, the, you know, the way you pass that I show you under hooking the triceps is just a choice. But you can grab the head, you can pull if you feel comfortable pulling, I just gave you a choice, okay? All right, let's go. One, two, three. We grab, we grab the, the sleeve. If his hand is behind his head, I'm not gonna, Go for that, you know. I just wait. I can have. I have other options, other ways to open the guard. I can open it with my knees on the floor. I can grab both collars, put my knuckles under his arm. There's other ways. So, if his head is here, I'll grab here. If you grab your collar, for example, I'll break his grip and then go over his arm. If he's already grabbing my collar, okay? Because especially if you go with both hands on my collar, I'm not gonna do like ah, grab my collar again. Ah. Uh, you know, so so you you choose the side that you want to control, okay? And you notice that when I stand up, I kept uh, holding the sleeve instead of the collar. But you can hold the collar instead of the sleeve. It's an option, okay? Why I control the sleeve instead of uh, why I let go the collar instead of letting go the sleeve? Because uh, sometimes I know the side that my opponent does the de la Hebrew. For example, your strongest side is this side, right, Rick? Don't tell anyone. Yes, I'm kidding. <laughs> right? So let's say if Ricky likes to grab more with this hand, I'm gonna control this hand, you know? And then I go here. Because right now, if I offer this side for him and he plays the lahiv on this side, he's gonna feel really uncomfortable. He's not gonna feel as comfortable as playing to the other side, you know? 
So that's why when I stood up, okay, right here, I got here, boom, and I stand up, I let go of the collar. Because right now if you control my leg, it's his weak side. He can't control it this strong side, you know? You can uh, grab the same way, right? Stand up and then keep the collar grip. But now he, you give both sides to him. You have option to control your leg as soon as you open. Okay, he's gonna hold this side or the other side, hold the other side. You have two options, right? So that's why I keep this sleeve, okay? But by the, the heat of the fight, Sometimes you forget, you let go of the sleeve, right? Just keep your grip on the collar. If you, in the hip of the fight, you hear, you got like this, and then you let go of the sleeve, just try to keep pulling the, the collar as much as you can and make your grip already here. Okay, but you see the problem. Now, he's doing the heave on this side, you know? And I need to change, look. I need to change this side, cut. I need to knee cut to the opposite side of the De La Hib. okay? So that's why I keep holding the sleeve instead of the collar when I open, because then I know the side that I'll knee cut. For sure he's gonna play to the side that uh, he can't uh, grab, or he can't grab, sorry. So sometimes, even I'm controlling his strongest side, he can apply, he can put the De La Hib on that side as well but my legs will be free, you know? So if I go here and I stand up, Ricky, when I open the guard of Ricky, you got to do the hip on this side, okay, Ricky? Like this, but look, my leg is free. I can move here. So easy for me, try to grab the other leg, you know? It's gonna be like, I control his, it doesn't make sense for him to make the hip on this side, but he does, I'm free, you know? It's easier for me to start moving to the side and pass his guard. Okay? All right, let's keep practicing. What you do?